And welcome back to Arkrise Fantasia. We're continuing part 68 because we can never get to part 69. Oh, fuck yeah, dicks. So this is what we're fighting for the next two parts? Yes. <laughs> this fucking thing. This plant. Which we it will take exactly, I don't know, eight minutes, seven, seven and a half to kill him, actually. <laughs> oh. Surprisingly. Well, considering uh, the next is someone completely different. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what I do here is, well, I'm going to burn him a bunch. And uh, I'm going to, well, I use Rastin for the Analyze because I'm going to have um, Lark use a Dispel. Oh, this guy summons those little bee shitheads every turn. And so you get them, like, really down, and he usually summons two a turn. But you can easily kill them, as you can see. They have, like, 5,000 health. Oh. God damn it. So, so this becomes a huge magic spam fest. It's weak to fire, and the bees are weak to wind. I need that, uh, um, so, so I huh? in a uh, fire sword. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Don't need that shit. Oh. Too good shit. Hell yeah, I am. Oh, well, yeah, I do use Ignis Beat. But that's because it's an area effect, so I can... Stay on guard. Oh. See? So I can, uh, damage, uh, the ones that are coming out as well. I told the future. How'd you know? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> Pretty good guess. Yeah, they don't have much health. Why are, you but, why are you bothering to analyze the moves? Well, because it's part of a boss fight. There's a chunk of the tell. Oh boy, it's funny because I just called it like that moment ago. <laughs> it's because it does enough, you know, damage. Oh, he has some magic, so he used booster to boost his, like, speed and stuff. So when he does, uh, use. Yeah, use another dispel. We'll finish them quickly. Even though he's not going to move at all this turn. Oh. Is he like gonna do anything that's actually an attack? Oh yeah, he will, eventually. Uh, but is like during like the first half of his moves of his life, he just summons these guys. Just so the guy is fine, man. Yeah. I mean, this has been like, what, three turns of him doing nothing? Yeah, the most he's done is, uh, booster. Oh, he's gonna do a magic attack this turn. <gasps> I, I, I was gonna say, I don't know why I feel so tired, but it's probably because for like the past, like, two or three days, I've always been going to bed at like 4 a.m. Sorry. We'll finish them quickly. Makes you feel better, so have I. <laughs> and then I wake up at 11 a.m. for some reason, and I'm like, God damn it. Oh. The PS4 is on, apparently. I thought I turned that off. Uh-oh. That's spooky. I don't know. It's just, uh, just laying on top of my Xbox, so... Yeah, that's true. Who cares? <laughs> Well, the reason why I haven't sit there is because there's literally no room left. My Wii U takes up all like the left side, and my PS3 takes up all the re uh the right side, and I have the PS Xbox with special properties. Wink, wink. Amazing. Uh, um, so the only place I have to put it, I'm not putting it on the Wii U because it might be a little bit <laughs> too heavy, and the PS3 is standing upright, so I can't balance it on that. So I just put it on top of the biggest thing there, the Xbox. Oh yeah, these guys add poison to just about every goddamn attack, and oh, they do decent damage. This is not so you you don't want them to actually stay out. It's not six. <coughs> yeah. Oops. But uh, luckily, um, in order to if you can't like. If you get a bunch of them to come out, uh, what you can do is use the wind magic. Either, like, sink some level threes, 
Uh, because those have pretty decent range, or just field wipe with a level four. Uh, D since uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just spelled that. Well. So yeah, cyclone is what we're gonna want. So many. Just, huh? It's gonna wipe the entire field, as you can see. Yeah. So many D's and E's, and yet no women. <laughs> well, there's Cecile. Cecile yeah. yeah. Oh. <clears throat> but she's not a D or E. She, or not even a fucking C. C. Yeah. To no avail. So after a while, he can't summon anything anymore. When the field is crowded already. Yeah. And yeah, they can put on sickness and paralyze. So those guys are going to be the biggest problem, actually. But they're so easy to kill. I imagine mission sickness too. The game just stopped doing that. Oh yeah. Uh, this guy moves ridiculously slow for his physical attacks. And so at this point, since he can't summon anything else, he just goes off and does physical attacks for the rest of the game. Or like the rest of his life, which isn't that long. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, because of how slow he moves, doesn't that mean you can uh, outpace him with attacks? Yeah, but I just triple sync uh, level 3 fire spell. This is where you wipe the floor with them. And I do that again next turn as well. Because there's no real point. But he ends up, he doesn't even go after Rast, and he should have. Rast is way time. back there. I know, exactly. Oh, you don't need your Rogress for this fight. Next time, maybe. I don't know. We'll finish them quickly. He's a little bit too pitiful for the Rogress. Uh, he's got, like, no health. It'd be a, a huge waste on my part. When you, uh, I forget, when you use a Rogress, nobody else can move? <laughs> well, it takes up, uh, for, like, it's proportional to the amount of AP you, uh, can store. So, like, right now, a Rogress takes 17 AP. Yeah. But, so this guy, uh, he dropped uh, the QEF, which in the last two parts I was talking about, which is Leslie's uh, best gun. So now we're... Oh, that one was in the Nabra jungle. This is in the uh, Vert, Vert Skywalk. This is a birdie. Yeah. He takes the rest of the video. Bird has boobs. Yes, it does. <laughs> He's a booby. So tits on a bird, also? Just that. It's kind of weird. Uh, so he's, he starts off with Blitz, so you might want to Dispel, is, you might not. Is this the new, uh, Bloodwing? <laughs> I got I hope not. <laughs> well, they said Bloodwing would change in the It's true. And there was, like, a new Bloodwing, because, uh, by the end of that, there was, like, uh, fucking, uh, what is it? An egg or something that he found. I have no idea why I defended twice with Lark there. Uh, the auto defense is getting the better of me? I, 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 no, I don't know. Uh, whenever he does that attack, apparently, I think he, uh, heals himself? It looked like it. Or unless that was Cecile oh. healing. But he's a little bit tougher than the last one. Um, he actually does damage. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, yeah. But he's still manageable because I, I finish him in like 20 minutes. I don't no. know if that's something. Probably not. No, I... But uh, he's weak to uh, earth magic. Honestly, like, I always thought that just because of the whole AP system, because I'm not really good at um, balancing uh, AP, that I wouldn't really be good at this game, but then again, I played Mark II, which was an AP fest, so maybe I wouldn't be completely terrible at this game. Oh no, it's... Uh, you do have to kind of get used to it, because yeah. there aren't too many games that actually have this type of system, but I actually like it, so... Cool. Like I said, Mark II had AP, um, his victory that did it and made it more like a traditional RPG. Ooh. 
Well, uh, that, that also meant that the the remake of Mark II, Rebirth Two, since they went with the victory system, they totally dropped it. Well, it's a good thing I already have uh, the original Mark II. Well, this is I've, this also I mean, isn't a uh, a super niche game that uh, has like almost no budget. <laughs> that's true. So, the AP system, I think, is a little bit better than Neptunia. Well, at least in Japan, the APs, like, uh, this had a budget. Coming over, when they, they were porting it, especially for, for the voice cast, they had, like, no budget. So, I'm assuming anything that has shitty voice acting, it's the bottom of the barrel kind of actors? Yeah, like, a lot of these people, this is, like, their only credited role. So, well, uh, Do you publish Dark Rise in America? Oh, was it two thousand? Should Google. So, yeah, I don't. I don't know off the top of my head. I know Marvelous is on the on the game. It was published by Ignition. Yeah, Ignition stuff. Marvelous. But I, I think Marvelous is. I think they did like the Japanese. Oh no, no, work. wait! It's developed by Ignition. Uh, public. It was published by uh, Marvelous Entertainment. That's it. Oh, Marvelous. we we Mar we need Lark in uh, Neptunia Victory Two then. I can see Cecile or Leslie, more likely. Leslie, and, uh, well, well, uh, Cecile. Um, you're breaking. It's also worth noting that Marvelous Entertainment is not the same thing as Marvelous AQL because Marvelous yeah. Entertainment is now debunk or defunct. Sorry. Defunct. Oh. You're right. Which I'm guessing, uh, they had no, like, <laughs> they had no budget for this game when they were porting it. Or, well, yeah, when they were, uh, importing it. Right. Yeah. Bringing it over. Oh, no, no, wait, never mind. Marvelous AQ was like a merge of Marvelous Entertainment and, like, two other things. That so it makes sense. Well, I'm retarded. That would explain why her chest is so big. So yeah. Who? Uh, well, oh, you're talking about the character. Yeah. I was like, what? They merged. Yeah. Zing. Although, if anything, Marvelous is at least in the Nintendo universe is more associated to Senran. Well, Senran Kagura's newer IP. It's I don't know all about fan service. Yeah, his marvelous is uh her character is a ninja. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, I can I can see why they did that. Probably because uh let's see, when did the first uh Senran game come out in Japan? Was that like two years before? Something like that. Hold on. Yeah, you look it up. Go, oh, Jack, go! Give us the right information this time, goddammit. <laughs> I can't handle being lied to again. Senran Kagura Skirting Shadows was first released in Japan on September 22nd, 2011. And, uh. When was, uh. When did Mark II come out? Mark II was like 2012, I think. Victory was right. 2012. No, Victory was 2013. Really? Talking about the, the Japanese release? Yeah, unless, uh, 2013 was uh, the, uh, the American release. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, then whatever. It's probably 2011 then. Yeah, uh, it, it wouldn't be on my top 2013 games otherwise. Gotta look sharp here. It's true. But, uh, yeah, 2012. So, yeah, that's probably why they uh, had Marvelous AQL as a uh, busty female ninja. Yeah. Because they just came out with the IP. Uh, Makes sense to me. I'm going to ask a question because I have no idea. It might just be Neptunia being Neptunia. Um, is Marvelous involved with anything that's really the best? 
Say that again there, kiddo. Is Marvelous involved with anything that's rhythm based? Uh, oh. Um, rhythm games. Well, <laughs> there's the, uh, there's, a uh, Mon Appetit. Is that a rhythm game? Yeah. Rhythm cooking game. Hmm. Yeah. Is, uh, Marvelous I... AQ. Unless you want to count Fortune Street. Which is, mm. does not count at all. I don't know why you would. Is yeah, it... I was going to say, that's not a rhythm game. No, uh, I was just going to ask because Marvelous HQL's uh, design, she's more designed like a ninja, like, like you know, this is Senran. But for some reason, her pupils are uh, musical notes. That's kind of, oh, okay. I, I don't, I don't, the reference, so. No, I don't. And I, uh, don't care. Oh, okay, mister. Well, no, yeah. It makes you feel better. I haven't played any of the Neptunian games either, so. Do you ever run out of items? <laughs> I doubt it, because you have, like, a bajillion Rico. Uh, n well, uh, let's see, one fight, I think it was, it was the last, not, not the plant, but it was, like, that turtle thing. I almost, I think I ran out of, uh, full liquids, but I always buy more, so. With your bajillion rink, uh, Rico. Yeah, well, the game just throws it at you at that late game, and it's just like, here, have shit tons of money. It's like, what do I do? I, I just, I'll buy 99 of every goddamn item in the shop. Like, so, yeah. I always make it a habit to make sure I have shit tons of items. It's kind of why I'm a super turtle in this game, because I just have the items to be super turtle. This <laughs> birdie. Sweet. So, what random topic do we talk about now? I don't know. What RPGs do we get to talk about now? What what? What RPGs do we get to talk about <laughs> I now? I thought you said RB cheese. RB <laughs> cheese? Well, the R the cheese that on their beef and cheddar is that good. So, yeah. There's that. Mm. But we can talk about RPGs instead of Arby's cheese. We'll finish things I, quickly. What, what, what about the... I, 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 is it like Monterey Jack or something? We could explain the, the JRB cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's what we're calling RPGs now. <laughs> RB cheese. Makes sense to me. Lexine's like Quest, a certain generic RB cheese. <laughs> and then I'll do that for one update. I'll change and then the title. Western RB cheese is American. <laughs> American cheddar. <laughs> American cheese. And uh let's see, well, if it's uh like if the company's out of like Europe, it's Swiss. That's strange. Oh, yeah. Um. Well, uh, that was amusing. Sorry. It's, it, most of our jokes are from, uh, failing in English. <laughs> How to English? And then you just look, you just look at Japan for help. How to English with Gamajin Stooge? Oh fuck! <laughs> no fuck it. <laughs> Shit! Got that wrong already. Oof. Oof. Oh. I don't know. So the noise is Oh, sorry. You know what RPG did? RPG? 
role-playing game. I'm just going to say the full thing now. You know what role-playing game I should play? It's some goddamn... Pl or play more of? What? I need to get back into Conception too. I got to a boss, and it's like, Hi there, I'm going to rape you anally. And I'm like, please don't. Your D-cops have been waiting for you. I know. I'll come back. I, I really like that game, so... They always come back. It's it's kind of like what I did with Xenoblade. I like gave that like a huge ass long break, like twice. Well, it's, it's like a huge ass long RPG. If it, mean, if it means anything, um, I, I haven't played Resonance of Fate in a few weeks. Well, it's been a few months since I played uh, Conception Two. Well, a well, few weeks for Justin is a few months for you. It's true. Considering I don't have that much gaming time, <laughs> all he does yeah. is sit inside all day. Well, fuck. Uh, I'm working on my my game well, uh, still. Let's look at it this way. Um, before I started actually making progress again in uh, Residence of Fate, it was a little like months after Christmas. So, Justin, hmm. when's your game coming out? Um, looking at a 2020 release date. 20xx, <laughs> give or take, an X. Because it takes like a few months after I uh, edit like a single town, maybe uh, a few extra weeks uh, after every edit. You know, I actually made him his first dungeon. And like, I was just like, because we were like talking and I was heading to the mall, and then, like, that was the first time. Um, I started working at the mall. I was just like, uh, uh, we were talking on, uh, on Skype. Uh, I, was, I had a call with him on the phone. On the phone, I was like, "So, how's your game coming along?" And he was like, "I'm stuck. I can't make a dungeon that looks good." I was like, well, "I don't know. I can make one for you." And I bust that out. What? It took me like uh, ten minutes max. Something like that. Yeah. We're just like, "Does this look good?" He's like, uh, "Yeah, it's getting there." And then I, more detail, more detail, added a little bit. Make it slightly bigger, more detail, done, give it to him. I'm on his development team. <laughs> I am top tier. You've probably done more top work team. than he. Have you done more work than he has? Uh, he set up the initial town. I mean, all I did was give him that, so. Recently, probably. Oh. I don't know if you. Did you ever actually put that map into the game? Uh, I put the map in the game, but I haven't done anything with it since. Yep, so, yeah. Recently, I've, I've done more work for his game than he has. Oh no, Cecile. Oh no! Quick, Rastin, get her while she's down! Oh. I mean... I may not last long. Uh, uh, kill yourself. And then kill a boss or something, or defend, I don't know. <laughs> Kill yourself again, then defend. Yeah, that's a good idea, Landon. Can't, Glad I thought of it. Can't you, like, overheal, like, just fucking, uh, take all 99 of your high liquids and then pour it down someone's throat to the point that their health exceeds the maximum limit? That's when you put, uh, well, that's when you use a fire spell, um, like, double sink it for up and a bit, so you can, uh, use up and beyond. And then you uh, actually like double your HP. Look sharp here. Oh. Which I sh probably should have done uh, with Cecile on the last and then the next fight. So in the next video, uh, because she goes down every other second. Oh. But um, we'll them I just put on damage reflect. I forget what the actual spell is called. Can we scroll through the goddamn spell levels? Uh, over one. Oh god, come on. It's fine. Whatever. Over? Uh, not Mighty Charge. It's, it's a level 3 then. Life Force, I think it's called. Oh. That uh, helps you ex uh, break your HP limit. For a short time. Oh, this guy starts getting magical reflect. Uh, yeah. Oh, if people are curious as to the order of the A, I actually fought these guys. It was Jack Lantern, 
this guy, the turtle from the last two parts, and then um, the thief in the next part, or the boss in the next part. So I, I'm uploading them in the different order because uh, I wanted to get the guy out of the way. You actually, the big guy. You actually did the turtle first? I mean, no, I, I didn't. You did, the, you did the turtle after. I did the turtle after this. Because you guys suggested I do uh, Jack Lantern first. But I didn't have, like... Because I did those three at the time. Because I recorded... You know, when I recorded uh, last night was to get another video. So, um... Alright, for that week... I... Blah, 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 blah. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, I'm saying two right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is the past. The next one was the present. Or the last one was the present, and there's the future, or something, I don't know. That's probably, yeah. that's probably Landon who keeps going past the same sign over and over again and keeps flipping it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm gonna go to the past or the future. I don't, I don't know, man. Fuck. Where do, where do I go to go destroy the thing, the projector thing, and then I have to go to the future? I, I forget. Fuck, man. I think you hit a future one, hit a past one shortly after one, hit a future Just go back and forth between future, past, present. I think we did it- I don't know. I think we did it wrong, though, guys. We were supposed to talk about a random RPG, but we're talking about a platformer. That's because we always talk about Sonic. When in doubt, talk about Sonic. <laughs> oh. Don't even try. That is a lot of damage. Shielded. Yeah. About 2,000. Hmm. I think I start relying... Yeah, I start relying on uh, Lark to use magic because everyone else, like, doesn't have anything now. So it's like, Lark, you're my main magic user. Everyone else support him. Be a mage. <laughs> Do something with your goddamn life. Is he the Tory of the group? <laughs> I think it's uh, Cecile at the moment. She's the Tory. She keeps getting killed? Does Tory normally get killed? Uh, well, no, she gets one shot. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about Dragon's Dogma. I was talking. I was uh, talking about Lexine's quest. Oh, <laughs> this is the problem when you use a character for just about everything. <laughs> See Lexine. Oh, it's a good thing I use uh, multiple characters. Like, and the, the, my main decision for which character I use for what depends on the game's actual setting. It's weird. Well, I see. Do do I control? One female. Yes. Lexine. Do I control a second female? Yes. Tori. If no, then male name. Oh. Which is usually Peter Bytor. Um, sometimes Andrew. Oh. Shade. Pokemon. <laughs> Bulbasaur specifically. I don't know. Red and fucking Bulbasaur in the next place. If I found, like, a decent, halfway decent, uh, sprite for Bulbasaur, I would. Like a, a rip from, like, maybe, like, the Mystery Dungeon games? Yeah. I'd put a Bulbasaur in my goddamn game. I wouldn't care. <laughs> of course, then I would make more sense if I actually put, like, a kid in a sprites in there as well. Uh... Or, you know, God Knuckles. Instead of, you know, a Jamaican white man with red dreadlocks. <laughs> Jamaican <laughs> white man? Yeah. Okay. A white Jamaican. Welcome. I don't know. This is almost done. I almost killed him. Let's do it! Or not, maybe. I can't tell, because of the blue line down there. Oh. The turn blue line matches up perfectly with the uh, blue line for Windows Media Player. 
How weird. I guess if you're going to use the elemental resistance, go for mainly um, winds and uh, what is it? Um, water. Oh. Or water and wind, I should I say. Saw that. Yeah. God damn it, Rest, and bring her back. Get back. No. Up. Not like I get experience for these fights, but whatever. You don't? Uh, optional bosses don't give you experience, but they give you a shit ton of Rico and a shit ton of weapon points. For weapons that are already maxed out. Yeah, for weapons you don't really, uh, need to increase anymore. Yeah, uh, but it, they're good for, like, if you have weapons that you need to do that shit with, but I'm not using those weapons because then I wouldn't have the armed forces to actually beat these guys. Oh. Yeah. I'm at a catch twenty two. Oh. Time is right. That is a book and a band. <gasps> uh, is there really a difference between using uh, a revive and having Rasten do it? Oh uh, one takes SP, one takes an item. Uh that one takes up uh five uh, S or like five AP. Um, a heal bottle, just a normal heal bottle, will give like it'll give less a uh, less HP. So Rastin's gonna get more HP. Oh. Do or die. Huh. Okay. So it's kind of situational which one you you're gonna want to use. Yeah. Since I have a shit ton of uh, level two MP, I just like quadruple sync that. Oh. I just love Cecile's old casting though. She always looks like she's throwing energy ball at you. I know. Oop, oop. Okay, where's he's dead? You he rocked him. And it drops. Uh, this one drops. Uh, Riffia's uh, best quote unquote weapon. We'll see you guys in the next part. Bye. Maybe now. 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 <laughs>